exactly. Here's the New Zealand lineup. Yeah, we see Mez coming in, Bailey Mez, a goal shooter, getting a start alongside Ekinazio, who had such high shooting percentages yesterday. Um, Shannon Owen Saunders coming in at wing attack, Laura Langman, over 150 caps, that stalwart in that centre. Trina Raw, she had a doubt with an ankle injury, but she's back in the squad at wing defence. Casey Pro at goal D and Liz Watson at goalkeeper. Great defensive partnership there. From Barbados, we have Wharton at goal shooter. She was on fire yesterday. They finished strong with 22 goals against 10. Thomas at goal attack. Crony at wing attack, a feeding machine. Holder at centre, Rock Hure at wing defence, Nails Matt at goal defence, and Azor Bruce at goalkeeper. Some very experienced players on this court. Here they come from Barbados, these two countries. They've met each other 14 times over the years, eight times at Netball World Cups. Barbados yet to get a win against the Silver Ferns. But it is never easy for the New Zealanders. They play with the, what you would say, the typical Caribbean flair. There's Bailey Mears. As you mentioned, Pam, first outing here at this World Cup. Did play at the last World Cup in Sydney and played very well. As Laura Langman awaits the ball. You can see she is just a ball of energy, Langman. I was watching her during the anthem. The legs were going. She simply wanted to get on with it. She did indeed. She is an engine, always going, never stops running. You talk about always moving. Rhea Holder, centre for Barbados. New Zealand will have the first centre pass. Game two, court two, day one. <laughs> New Zealand away against Barbados, the Silver Ferns in the black strip. Oh, what a take! but not the start Bailey Mears would have wanted. No, she would have wanted to settle there. And she has had seasons in the past when she's had these shooting yips, if you like. Most recently, though, has come good, but that's a terrible start. But this is better for New Zealand. She'll get another crack. And Katrina Rore at wing defence. Should be increasing her court time. Yep, she passed that fitness <laughs> test and she didn't play in the Cadbury series. Yep. They were resting there, making sure that she'd be right to come into this World Cup. So New Zealand start with two misses. Contact. Well, I think New Zealand was holding its oh, breath then, lost. but she's away. Little smile from Falau on the bench there who had a sensational shooting performance oh, yesterday. What was that set of pass? Yeah, I think she dropped the ball, but it bounced, so it was okay. <laughs> well, we've talked about that bounce in the past, haven't we? As long as the bounce, well, leaves the floor, I suppose. Exactly. So that's, I guess, when a bounce becomes a, not a roll. Not a roll. Over this way, this edge, this edge. So again, Barbados denied. Jane Watson had a good outing yesterday, as did Corpua. Yeah. Shannon Saunders regathers, gets the start this time. Saunders came on yesterday to replace Crampton in that wing attack position as well. So just time is held while the ball is retrieved. Penalty. And Bailey Mears certainly doing a good job of getting those. Barbados defenders on a bat. She just needs to finish it. She did that time. Grant this time on the transverse. I like watching Ekinazio play. How she, even when she's not going to get the ball, she's still making an offer to be available. And she got so much depth there to be able to get that ball off Casey Kapoor. Nice from Laura Langman. 
lateral ball she loves and can take so well. Second miss for Mez. Yes. Oh, easy pickings for Rore. We had some high-class shooting from New Zealand yesterday. 79% for Lau, Ekinazio 95%, Selby Rickett 83%. So Bailey Mez will want to be keeping up in that kind of range as well as the fourth shooter. Oh, look at that acceleration from Saunders. She'll be one of the fittest members of this New Zealand side. Oh! She did not read that loss of communication. Yep, Mez wasn't expecting it. Katora starting strong on those tips. We see down. Saunders hit. Bailey Mez was already down. going to try and fight the defender. Yeah. It was a nice idea. It really was if she just stayed. Leanne yeah, Niles map goal defence for Barbados. Very experienced member. 72 tests today. And there Shaniqua Thomas gets Barbados on the board. Nice high shot. Defenders have no opportunity to tip that one. A little dab from Saunders. Got it right back though. Rock Cure in the middle with that intercept. And under the post to Wharton. Doesn't miss from there. So Holder at centre has to wait. Now they come away. Demisha Cromie oh, at oh, wing oh, attack. Oh, Barbados captain. Test number 60 today. Oh, oh what a beauty! And that's what Shanika Warden is known for. Long bomb from way downtown. Lists her hobby as laughing. <laughs> Good hobby. Nice. Gets the endorphins flowing. New Zealand 6-3. Early stages. First quarter. Langman. Bread and butter for the New Zealand captain. Yeah. Niles Map forcing that one. Azul Bruce that time just caught with her hands out. Or arms out, I should say. She had a good game yesterday. Four intercepts. Test number 85 for Azor Bruce. Barbados having to go wide. They have struggled, haven't they, off their centre pass? And they're getting real difficulty trying to get some penetration into that circle. Yes. Wall of black. Contact, oh, yeah. Bailey Mez getting a nice hug there from Nars Map. Yes. Watch this here. <laughs> Not quite, quite allowed to do that. Well, I wonder, though, if she, if she hadn't had her arms up and around her, she might have, because it did look as though there was a bit of push on both sides. But, yeah, you're right, the giveaway was the arm. Yeah. So, early advantage, New Zealand. Couture doing her best not to walk all over. Thomas. Barbados. Barbados bench urging Barbados their teammates the on. Oh, beautiful shooting. Three from three from Wharton, 100%. Again, not afraid to take those long shots. Well, she played the second half against Singapore yesterday and shot 27 from 29. Yep. 
Just two missed, half normal. And it's pretty physical in the circle. Neves moves along. So just over seven minutes left in this first quarter. 10-5 New Zealand over Barbados. Oh. Oh. What's in those arms? She nearly took that shot, but then... Well, Shaniqua Thomas, beautiful. Look, Look at, at that. that. Almost hurt herself in the process. <laughs> She's a great story, Jane Watson. Came to netball relatively late. I think preferred playing soccer or football. But uh, moved to an area where they didn't have a football team for the girls, so she had to play netball. So aren't we lucky for that? Good fortune for New Zealand particularly. Saunders very quickly puts the foot back to, to where it belongs. Oh, nice quick hands. Oh, that falls into Casey Corpua's hands. Away come the Ferns. Too long on that pass over a third. You have to receive it in the centre third first when it's coming out of an end third. Hold up. Which way is she going to go? On one leg. Contact. Wing defence. There you are. Coney finds herself all on her own, seeing that left hand side. Yeah. Langman opting to put hands over the ball. Centre, contact. Both of you. And for her efforts, she'll be standing down also now with Katrina Rory. But still, the Gems can't get that ball in. That was good speed from Watson, just coming in front of Wharton so they stop that quick pass coming in from the edge of the circle. Well, there's such wily operators, Shanika Wharton and Shaniqua Thomas. Both of them have been in international netball for a while. Ah, oh, Jane Watson in the end. Again, Niles Mapp on the floor. This is how it happened. That's already five for New Zealand on intercepts. Goalkeeper, stand aside. Large goal, goalkeeper, stand outside, play. 11-6, in fact, 12-6, New Zealand over Barbados. Right, number 12 in the world, Barbados. Mez has settled into this game now after those first two misses at the start. She's eight from ten. Deb Fuller and Nolene Taurua, New Zealand coaches. Both former Silver Ferns. Oh my word, that is the shot of the tournament so far. And she looks so calm and composed as if it was nothing. Look at that. She just steps back, calms herself, lifts, swoosh. And she has not missed so far in this yep. game. Beautiful. Four from four. So, untidy aspects really to this game at both ends. Pretty physical. Yeah, we already see penalty count 18 for Barbados. He's even on seven. Yep. And you can see Shanette Azul Bruce look to the heavens. Barbados. But I don't think there'll be any answer up there. She needs to adjust, is what she needs to do. Yes, that's it. It's like we said in the game before, you need to listen to what the umpire said. They've obviously seen something that they don't like. Adjust early so that they come off you. Hold it. Oh, lovely work. Good speed along that baseline from Contact, Thomas. Goal, keep defense. Did you back him? On the shot. Step back. Add again. Yes. 
Well, that's just stunning. Yeah, nice delay from Ekanasio. She is having a Bye, super season, Amelia and Ekanasio. Contact as she landed. As she landed. member of the Silver Fern side from the competition winning Central Pulse team. Barbados. Along with Katrina Rory. Rory, her skipper. <laughs> Two minutes remaining in this first quarter. Oh, and there's a snaffle. Katoa. That one going against Ekanasio. We saw a lot of this, didn't we, in the earlier game between Zimbabwe and Australia. The Australian shooters being called. Oh, and they've got it back, New Zealand. Rory, right on that transverse line. But I wonder too, you know, adjusting to the various yes. players. Here's how it happened. Rory. Beautiful timing, wasn't it? She's got long hands, long reach. Chromie trying to do something of her own, but went offside as she did so. Oh, beautiful. There's one. Oh, with a flourish. <laughs> Jeanette Azor Bruce. Oh, now this doesn't look good. This is Chromie. Time for the wing attack. <laughs> this is the Barbados captain. Looks like she's been winded in the stomach. Well, we didn't see what happened, but 15 8 at the moment in this first quarter. We're in the final minute of that quarter. Off comes the bib. So I think that's Sam Brown coming or moving rather to wing attack. Here's what happened. Oh, that was a, actually went past Rory, but it doesn't seem to have been much contact there. So I'm not sure what happened. Well, we just hope that she's all right. Oh, oh, lovely take of the ball. Shanika Thomas and one more for Barbados. Rock your needing to come and stand beside Laura Langman. She called for the Bye, obstruction. That's nah. great patience from Langman, just waiting Bye, for Ekanasio to come round. Here is Demisha Cromie. As the whistle blows for the end of the first quarter. Well, it probably wasn't the prettiest netball. A bit of a mucky start from both sides, but as they go to the break, it's New Zealand leading Barbados 16-9. Few changes for New Zealand. Falau on at goal attack. Crampton on at wing attack. As well, Phoenix Karaka at goal defence. She's found and Saunders coming into that centre bib as Langman goes to the bench. Saunders away. New Zealand in possession. So quite a raft of changes here from Nolene Torua. Good from Bailey Bears. Nice draw from the baseline from Falau and Bailey. Just coming out the top of the edge with a long split. She's got lovely long legs. And as well as that ch late change we saw for Barbados when Sam Brown came on for Crony, Mandy Knight has come on for Thomas in that goal attack position. Mandy Knight, the youngster in this Barbados team. 19-year-old. Oh, and there she is. That was She did well to make sure she got that ball ahead of Watson. And no doubt when the ball is in the hands of that young woman where they're going, or where it's going, straight through. <laughs> Great no-look pass there, Falau. Bailey Mez and Falau have worked together previously, so... Potentially just bring in Flau on to settle Bailey Mez, get her a bit more confident. 
Yeah, they have quite a connection. Used to play together at the Northern Mystics until, of course, Falau moved across the Tasman to the Adelaide Thunderbirds. Oh, here's a chase. Sam Brown with the throw in. Rotten. Great elevation. So if you look along the bottom of your screen, there's the New Zealand lineup as it is now. Interesting to see Karaka on at goal defence. We saw her yesterday at wing defence. So I think the New Zealand coaching team just trying people out. This is a good game to do it in as well. And Barbados, you can see there, the two switches, Sam Brown in at wing attack, Knight at goal attack. Oh, this is strong for wing defence. Contact goal defence. Oh, and that's hard luck for Niles Map. She read that pa uh, bounce pass beautifully. Wing attack, enlighten me, please. A few of these Come Barbados back. players, Pam, you would have played in your time? Yes, I have indeed. And so very physical in that circle um, as a goal attack, but they're so quick off the mark. They've got great elevation and timing, and so you have to really be on song and get that front position and use your speed. You want me to bump you around a little bit in the competitory position to make it feel like it was four years ago. <laughs> but I think all defenders are physical, so I can't really just say Barbados. Oh, and again. oh, broken down for Barbados. They nearly got it back. Out. She was imperious yesterday. MVP performance against Malawi. Already three from three. Tawira says she's just come into this com competition with just sheer determination. She's just here to get the business and the job done. Well, there's a few of these players in this team, and I think it's been talked about before, but Falau is one of them, Langman's another, Korpua, who have done just about everything you can do in netball, but they have not won a World Cup, and that's what they're here for. Yeah. I should also include Katrina Rore in that group. She had a little break, didn't she? She didn't play in the quad series in January. Well, I don't think that was her choice. <laughs> In fact, it was quite a shock when when that uh, team was announced, but she says in hindsight, you know, it, it probably did her a lot of good. Uh, I saw one interview where she said she just lost the love of netball. So she's really found that again. Shooter contact. Keeper, take it back. So rather untidy start to the second quarter. 22-10, New Zealand lead Barbados. 6-1 in this quarter. Just getting suckered there. Rock your only eyes on the one side. And Rory just able to come straight out with that intercept. And of course the player called for the ball, which alerted everyone in the stadium to the fact that's where the pass was going. And it was on the third seconds as well, so he had no other chance but to pass it. Good rebound from ba Bailey Mez. This is what she does really well under that oh, post. So, so strong. Easy peasy for Katrina Rore. Look, and it has to be said that really the selection of Mez, not everyone in New Zealand was totally behind it. She certainly does have her supporters, and mainly because of the fact she's so athletic. She, is, she defends all the way down the court. But at times, her shooting... Is, is below par yeah. and I think uh, once she turned the season around she had a very good back end of the season in New Zealand and I think the doubters <laughs> were convinced Watson still on the floor <laughs> That's so quick down this court New Zealand oh, Abay just, just not setting up quick enough not able to stem that so watch this Watson goes down Karaka well she needed her. Yes, yeah, she wanted to pass to her. Strong for wing defence. Step forward in line with me. So Rock York oh, standing it's down. Out of play, wing defence.
Bailey Mears had those two early misses in the first quarter, hasn't missed since. 15 from 17. And again, just nothing working for Barbados. Silly error there, breaking the line on the centre pass. Point defence contact. Oh, that's not bad from Azor Bruce. 1.85 metres, 37 years of age. Advantage of truck contact, goal defence. She's got a very long goal defense, Netball World contact. Cup resume. Played in the 1999 event. And that was in Christchurch. What that was, 20 years ago. She was a 17-year-old, and here she is 20 years later. That's the goalkeeper for Barbados. Hard to Great to see. Goal defense. Looks like she's trying to call time here. I was just going to say, after 20 years, it looks as though she's lost Hi, interest. And she has for now. The bib's off. Pass check. Pass check. And onto court comes the great Latonia Blackman. Another stop for the Silver Ferns. Yeah. Barbados only sitting on 32% centre pass to goal. That's really, really low. And New Zealand is just making them pay for it each time they get the ball in their hands. So there is Latonia Blackman on at goal keep. And of course, that's important because you never quite know what position she's going to come on court in. She plays just about every single one of them. Yeah, this is her fifth World Cup in every single World Cup. She's played a different position. She's a bit of a rock star in Barbados. Female Athlete of the Year a couple of years ago. First and only netballer to get that honor. She's a leader in this Contact squad as well, center. coming in at their vice captain. Instruction, goal defence. Got to take one in from there. Well, over halfway through the second quarter, still just a one goal for Barbados in this period. Oh, Crampton goes back, no way through. Adjust your distance. And that's good umpiring. You can hear the umpire just telling players, adjust your distance, sort yourself out, rather than just blowing thing, everything up. Definitely. And Louise Travis, we see her in our Vitality Netball Super League here in England. She is always on that. She's so clear to players. And as you say, it's so helpful for, for you to know, OK, I need to do something different now. So this time, perhaps, for Barbados. All right. Shannon Saunders Sorry. has other ideas. Fast obstruction, goal defence. That's great. Her and Rory working well together. She ran and then came off. That's a caution for persistent contact. So now that is an official caution for Tanisha Rockyor. Persistent infringing. So the way it works is there's a caution and then there's a warning and then you're in trouble. <laughs> yes, indeed. Then you're suspended off the court for two minutes. You're allowed back on, but if you do it again, you're off for the rest of the match. Again. Well, the New Zealand defence have just set up a black wall in this quarter. No way through for Barbados. And they're well known for the zone. And Bailey Mez, she's got her confidence now, hasn't she? Long shot there. Well, Nolene Tarua talked about the fact that she'd never worked with Bailey Mez before in her career, and she felt that she could do something with her. And I have to say, I think Nolene Tarua could probably do something with anyone. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. She talked about she wanted fit players into this squad. You had to be hitting those levels. And Bailey Mez does that.
Nice, well seen there from Barbados. On the ball. But they're simply not getting enough ball, are they? I mean, this is what, their second goal. And, and Thomas. 11 minutes of netball. Mm. When they do get it, they're so accurate. 100% for Wharton, seven from seven. Thomas, four from five, 80%. But as you say, just not getting this ball into that shooting circle. bit more movement from the Bajan players. <laughs> Another goal <laughs> from way on the edge of the circle. Wharton. Contact with attack. Out there, contact with attack. Crampton and Saunders play together. In the ANZ. So they've played nearly 10 years playing together. So they've got a good partnership at wing attack and centre. But there's that long shot there. She's so casual about it, Shanika Wharton. Is that the casualness of youth? She's only 23. This is a relatively young shooting circle for Barbados, a 23-year-old and a 19-year-old. Oh, she went for it. But that's the price you pay if you go for it and miss. Shooters left at home free. Good footwork. Contact Just confusing contact. that defence there, creating space for herself underneath the post. Bailey Mass. 42 shots New Zealand have had, 13 for Barbados. Oh, even the big leap from Jane Watson, not enough to deter this young woman. The New Zealand players also admiring. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Langman shaking her head. Well, so they should be, too. It's not easy being a shooter. Oh, so they say. I can only imagine what the pressure must feel like. And another lady that makes it look so easy and effortless. Farad. Yeah, Warden wants it, but... She needs to go a bit higher if she's to bring those balls in. Oh, just about. Papados with a rear turnover. Yeah, Knight there doing the work at centre. When Barbados play that short, sharp, quick movement, quick ball speed. But then they have to settle when they get on the edge of the circle. Yeah, I have to say, I must admit, I've been disappointed with Barbados in this first half. Mm. And perhaps we were lulled into a false sense of ability, if you like, with that big score, 69-34 over Singapore yesterday. Going, going, New Zealand. Sorry. No, 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 sorry. No, 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 sorry. Watson disputing whose ball it is. Guys, contact, goalkeeper. And again, she does not stop. Wish. Well, that is the whistle for the end of the first quarter. 42 14. New Zealand lead in this game against Barbados. That was a mammoth second quarter for New Zealand. They took that 26-5. Third quarter underway. Silver Ferns in possession, 42-14. They lead over Barbados. Few changes for New Zealand. To Tyre Selby Rickett passing that ball on at goal attack. Mez staying put at goal shoot. Good start for Selby Rickett. 
Yeah, confident, coming on the court, turning straight to post and putting that shot. Caraca gets the intercept, but then footwork called, gives it back to Barbados. And the other new player for New Zealand, Karen Berger on at wing defence. Latonia Blackman has moved out to goal defence for... Goal defense. Oh! Just no, it's not a miss because she was obstructed. Obstruction. Goalkeeper, both of you. And again. Both. Even with the step, yeah. Now that is a miss. That is a miss, yes. And she'll be annoyed with herself. The first one of the game centre. for her. Destruction. And this is where... New Zealand are so quick on the attack and so ruthless. That ball whizzed down the call. Her third shot over the top. And I think Barbados attempted a little Harrison hoist down in that defensive end before. Anna Harrison, I'm sure she'll be watching in New Zealand. Oh, and that's a miss from Mez. Good idea. So there's a bit of a change in the... Defensive circle for Barbados. Latonia Blackman, as I mentioned, has moved out to goal defence. And Shante Seal has come on at goal keep. Mandy Knight moving to wing defence. And B holder on at goal attack. So quite a raft of changes. Blackburn making herself known in goal defence. Foot on the line. Again, that's the second ball now that's gone off the back line for New Zealand. And yes, keep your eyes on this Barbados lineup because they have changed quite a bit, as you can see. Seal, Blackman, Knight, hold up. That's Bria hold up. Then that's Brianna hold up. And I think probably coach Sandra Small-Bruce realising she had to do something with the side. Yeah, that was a high score in there for New Zealand, 26 in that last Barbados. quarter. See this here from Phoenix Caraca. Reverse hand, tip down, then able to pick it up. My apologies, Sandra Bruce Small. Good effort from Berger. Okay. See, maybe that's the problem. She shouldn't be shooting under the post. She needs to I be on the edge it. of the it circle. It was far too easy. It was far too easy for her. Wow. It's extraordinary, isn't it? How there are some shooters like that. Lovely high trajectory from to Pia Selby Rickett. New Zealand move through to 46. Oh, great. Three foot guard from Berger. Nice from Selby Rickett. Also playing Southern Steel alongside Crampton. So they'll know this line well together, a wing attack and goal attack. Beautiful shot. Barbados! Again, she'll be oh, kicking else? herself. Yeah, she's she was been... in the right place. Yeah, just couldn't keep it in her hands. It bounced off her knee. Oh, we attack. Once again, though, Barbados just finding it so hard to breach the New Zealand defence. That was better swing there, using the whip. You need to get this Kiwi defence to Contact not be able to be connected together. Spread them wide. So they can't play off each other 
And then you can get those balls into Wharton when she's shooting like that. You can see Demisha Crony, captain for Barbados, still on the sideline. Went off with what looked like quite a, well, an awkward injury, really. To the stomach. So that goal didn't count, it was brought back to the penalty. Construction goal, goal defense, counting. Barbados! Oh, nicely done over the top, Bad Jane Watson. Contact centre. I can't help but think that she is going to be one of the stars of this World Cup. Yeah, she's had a great start, hasn't she? Goalkeeper. And perhaps goal. a little unsung. Yeah, you normally always talk about the goal defence sat out in front of her. Kapora. Crack has come on and doing a formidable job, but she's the one at the back. She's seen the play coming, she's directing and reading when to come out and when to stick hard on those goal shooters. And she's very loud. <laughs> he yells a lot from the back, although don't all goalkeepers. They do. I seem to remember Shani Layton being quite loud. She was one of the loudest ever, I think. And there's Watson again coming out. But that kind of noise really puts the attackers under pressure, especially as a shooter. You're constantly hearing the voice in your ear and you've got to do a hell of a job to try and drown that out. Goalkeeper. And Watson this Shooter. time too close. Round. It was good from Wharton just to turn to the post first to make sure that contact goal defence both she players. She moved please. off and was called for that contact. Sometimes you just offload contact. really quickly, and you don't create any space for yourself. Fabulous defensive partnership work there. Sally and Blackman. I wonder how many more positions we'll see her in today. <laughs> She's ticked off the two defence positions. Contact, shoulder, we're defense. trying to disrupt. Yeah. You've always got a silver fern in front of a Bayesian. Wing defense. Oh, the one long shot she's missed. But there was an in and out. Nice pick up on the edge of the circle from Langman. It'll be interesting to see just how much game time Langman gets. Nolene Taurua so far has been very reluctant to ever take her off the court. Understandably. Yes. But you just wonder if there are going to be times when you, you might need to. Yeah, Fart just to uh, this is a long tournament, eight games in ten days. Um, you want to players to be able to come on Fart with some kind of freshness in legs. Obstruction, goal defence, advanced goal from the back though. Little update from the Barbados bench. The good news is Demisha Crony, the captain, is fine, but there are some concerns over Shanette Azor-Bruce, who's in with the Barbados. team doctor. Not quite sure why, but if we learn more, we will let you know. This really is hard yak up for Barbados. Goal and attack, the two silver shot. ferns after that ball. <laughs> Everybody Get wants that there. turnover. What's the battle there between Watson and Wharton? Ah. I back him. What a leap from Caracas, but still Wharton straight up and over. 15 shots, 13 in from 15 attempts, sorry, for Wharton. Penalty New Zealand. 
Berger takes off down time. court. She's a great story. Came to New Zealand from South Africa as an 18-year-old with one intention, and that was to make the Silver Ferns. And it took her a few years, but there she is. Another phenomenal athlete, isn't she? Barbados. Covers the wing defense, goal defense, and goalkeeper. <laughs> Versatile. Oh, that's poor from Barbados. I just wonder, too, is it perhaps a little bit of a lack of fitness from this side? It does seem, if you look at how many they've scored over this quarter, first quarter was nine, second was five, currently sitting at five in this third. They have seen a drop down. And fitness is one of those factors. Although you could say the same for New Zealand, too. They scored 26 in that second quarter, only 12 in this third. Contact, goal defense. Last goal, New Zealand. Last contact. Last obstruction. Last obstruction, goal defense. Beautiful defense. pass from Selby Rickett. Just pulling that baseline. And Bailey Mez under the post. Last right, wing attack. Good discipline from Langman, Fans just to wait for Selby Rickett just to come out Contact from the line of the defenders. Defense. Goalkeeper, no goal to shooter to the side. Thank you. A oh, nice Martin rebound from shooter. Phoenix Karaka. Vantage obstruction centre. Vantage obstruction. And to pass Selby Rickett growing as this game goes on, starting to look Zealand. more comfortable. Vantage great goal attack. Vantage obstruction in defence. Oh, New Zealand oh, rattling along here. <laughs> Berger again, disrupting, making a real pest of herself. Contact, goal defence. Carragher slides across the floor. Where you are, goal attack. Center obstruction. Outside, outside. Yes. So Brianna hold up. Didn't want it. Sent it back. And again they go back. Yeah. Wharton wanted a little bounce pass on that edge of the circle. But it's all right. They've worked defense. it back. Then forward again. Back. Contact ball. Goalkeeper, both of you. Doesn't miss this time under the post. Caution now for Rhea Holdup. So that's two players, I think, on a caution for Barbados. Correct. Barbados. Is that persistent? Too much, seconds. and that's great defence. I thought that whistle might have been for too close, but no, it was too long with the ball. Yeah, TSLB Rick on that line, just putting so much pressure. And there's an example of oh, the rebounding oh. ability of Mears. She just went up and over the Bajan defender. And did it cleanly. 40 goals between these two sides, 60-20. 30 minutes remaining in the third quarter. Nolene Tarua, constant chat from the coach. Barbados. Biggest margin of the day yesterday was Australia's win over Northern Ireland. 64 goal difference. A 
as the whistle goes for the end of the third quarter between this game between New Zealand and Barbados. Not as much of a goal fest as the second quarter was for New Zealand, but still, New Zealand in control, 61-20. Another change for New Zealand. There's the former captain, Casey Corpour. Back on court. And we wondered about the change, whether or not we'd see Laura Langman go to the bench. Well, she has, because here is Shannon Saunders in centre. And I can tell you that just out of shot, Maria Falau is back on court in the goal shoot position. And look at this, Bailey Mears, wing attack. Another time. Final quarter underway. 61-20. New Zealand versus Barbados. And around comes Tapia Selby Rickett. Tipped out of court. That's interesting seeing Mears in wing attack. It's a, it's a move that's often talked about. She made her debut at wing attack years ago against Sydney. Against Sydney. It was Australia in Sydney. And it was a nightmare. And uh, I wondered if that had almost left her scarred in that position. But good to see her trying again at this wing attack position. Yeah, showing the amount of options that the Ferns have, being able to play her out there. If well, she's very tall, can make it very difficult for those wing defences. New Zealand. Nice. Pass there. Good drive from Holder. Three from three, hundred percent. Berger doing well to stay onside. Nice from Selby Rickett. She was sitting at eighty-three percent in yesterday's game. Today, twelve from twelve, one hundred percent. So that's a great improvement for her. Oh, that was. Dicing with the three second rule. How did Berger stay onside with that? Look at this run here. Gets two hands on it, stays onside, tries to flick it to a teammate, but just can't quite land. And here we are. We wondered where Latonia Blackman was going to turn up, but she's in the shooting circle. And there she is now with the ball. Three positions in one time. And there are the changes going through for New Zealand, which we have mentioned. There she is, Blackman. Test number 145 today. And now here are all the changes. Niles Mapp returns to goal defence. Matt stays where she was. Holder stays where she was. Demisha Crony, good to see her back on court. And as I mentioned, Blackman at goal shoot. Wing defence. Uh, outside, please, New Zealand, yes. Obstruction, advantage goal. Barbados. Watson out with the tip. Four intercepts for Jane Watson so far today. Rise your side. Rise. Contact. He's a bit late by Berger. She could see what they were trying to do. There's no way she could get there legally. Again, Watson with the tip. She's been on form. That's five now to her name. On oh, Falau having a great battle. Contact goalkeeper. With Shante Justin. Seal. I like him, Selby Ricketts. Nice high shot. Look at this one, Watson. We, talk, we talked a lot about Bruce in the first Australia game at goalkeeper. This is another goalkeeper that's just really shining today. Centre third. Part of construction. Contact centre. Now cheeky from Selby Rickett. Smart there, just gaining a bit of ground, but then... Oh, and that's even cheekier. 
misses the shot, but then she gets past the ball off the rebound. Couldn't believe her luck. I know. Sale can't, couldn't keep it on. Oh, that's poor feeding from Barbados. Five contact. Around comes Burgett. Away come the Ferns. Faster obstruction goal defence. Faster obstruction centre. Five minutes gone in this final quarter. 67-22. Last time these two sides played four years ago at the Sydney World Cup. 73-28 that day. So perhaps this is going to be relatively similar. Yes, indeed. Only scored two so far, though, in this quarter. Oh, nice stretch again from Watson. Got both hands there. Yeah. And for someone so tall, she does play the groundwork really well, doesn't she? She runs her feet. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Great understanding between oh. the New Zealand shooters. Shooter to shooter connection. Take a look at this exchange. Didn't even stay in the hand for more than a millisecond and it was passed straight off. Falau has the grace to shake her head. Oh, and this is nice. Okay. So forming a combination, these two, of course, they have played together a bit over the years at internationally. Hold tight. Goalkeeper, yes. Barter's goal is signing away, keeper. So a little flourish of goals here for the Silver Ferns as they hit 70. And really, they are just all over Barbados at the moment. Yeah, this defensive pressure is starting from way up high in the court. It's not just the defenders. And the Bayesians just really struggling to break through that. Barbados ranked 12th in the world. Barbados obstruction, wing defence. New Zealand, fourth. First time ever. Oh, no goal. Falau waiting just a little bit too long. Yes, first time ever. Barbados. And something that I think New Zealand wants to change yep. at this tournament. Definitely. But I think there's a few other countries which time, will have something to say about that. Saunders plows through Messi, tidied up by New Zealand. Barge obstruction, goal defence. It's looking very easy, isn't it, for the fans? Contact, goal. Really, it was just hunt the ball and see who comes up with it. Centre, contact. Come on. New Zealand is sitting on 83% centre pass to goal. That's really high for an international match. I guess, though, in a way, it's these games, isn't it, that, that highlights the differences in world netball, there are, there are tears right, within sorry, netball, and it used to be New back Zealand. in the day that there on were the New side. Zealand and Australia, then there was a drop, and then there was another group. That, of course, is changing. There's far more now in that top tier, and that's the good bit of news. But, of course, the bad bit is there's still this gap, Contact isn't there? Yeah. Somehow, these other countries, the likes of Barbados, need to be brought up. They do, and do. And it's, there's more exposure. If they can get out there, um, get more time playing these international text patches, learning the craft of the game, not just in their respective areas, 
But as you say, now we've got at least five teams five up in that top section. Contact. And I mean, a lot of it, I think, seems to come down to money, investment. Yes, and yeah. it's, you know, it's that old issue that haunts women's sport mm. too often. Yes. Well, yes, if you can't afford to travel overseas to play these matches, you don't well, get them. Well, it was heartbreaking, wasn't it, to read some media reports from a number of countries where they were, you know, the teams were almost having to beg for funding to get here. Yes. Whereas the bigger countries, when I, when I say time. bigger, I mean the, the bigger Goal netballing defense, countries, really don't have to think twice. No, exactly. By her side for the penalty. Um, running fundraisers. Trying to get sponsorship deals. And some not even knowing until the very last minute that they can afford to come. Well, I remember I think one country made a direct plea to the first lady. They're here, so perhaps she came through. <laughs> yes. Yes. But this is what I love about how far we've got in that ball. We're, it's growing, it's gaining. We're seeing a change. And we're seeing players like Sylvie Rickett doing stuff under the baseline, which other oh, countries can see and learn from. Because that's the thing, they don't necessarily see what good looks like. That's the comment, isn't it, we heard, or the sort of comment that we heard from the Zimbabwe coach this morning, saying, you know, to get better, you need to play the best. So that's why this event is so important. And Jane Watson takes another and stays on side. She is phenomenal. Contact from defence. Five intercepts to her name. And Falau makes it count down the other end. They see her here. How she stepped back to cover the post and then still flew out the front. And a few deflections as well for Jane Watson. Good day at the office for her. Silver Ferns, can they hit 80 here? Now oh, Barbados just play it around Crony. Finds Blackman. Oh, nice work, Blackman. It's not easy to go from a defensive position then back into the shooting end there. She timed that well. Lovely work between Saunders and Mez. Barbados do just four goals so far in this last quarter. So Rick really thought she had that, didn't she? But construction called. Nice direct ball finds Blackman. And that's beautifully well judged by Corpor. Blackman had stepped in. Oh, so close. But the ball speed of the fans is just killing this defensive end. Fab from Popoa. <laughs> Tip and collect. Mm -hmm. And what was smart there, she didn't, some defenders, when the shooter steps in, they then touch the ball because they feel they're in the right space. Jane Watson, wow. Ah, oh, there she goes again. I think what's going to be interesting for the Silver Fern coaches is to make the decision on which defensive combination is their, is their number one combo. Mm. At the moment, they're trying, obviously, each and every one of them, Watson, Corpua, Aurore, and... Another one. <laughs> well, they've got a few to choose from, haven't they? Phoenix Karaka. And they each have their own distinctive abilities. Obstruction, 
They get away with it, Barbados. So two players today, Watson and Bailey Mez. Only two to have been on court. Oh, she tried to push it through her legs. Watch this here from Copper. She was definitely not off court. Oh, she'll have a little bit of a laugh about that later. She just waited, didn't she, Blackman, until the jump had gone contact, back. But Hopua has the last laugh. Contact. And you could see there a little look of dejection on the face of Rianne Niles' map. Well, and they'll want another one here in New Zealand, which they'll get if they're quick, but they'll need to be quick. Contact called. They do get an opportunity. Oh, not this time for Maria Falau. The ball doesn't go in, but it really doesn't matter. It's a convincing win to New Zealand over Barbados. 78-25. They were dominant in absolutely every quarter. Too strong for the Beijing Gems. Well, the traditional post-match huddle between the two teams. Tough day for Barbados. Not one quarter that they got into double figures. No, really low scoring. First nine, second five, third six, fourth five. To so finish them on 25. So they'll be disappointed. There was some amazing shooting early on. But then they just couldn't pull it together. They couldn't get that ball into that circle to give their shooters those opportunities. See there, Bailey Mez, one of two that played the whole game today. She'll be good to get experience under her belt, even at wing attack. Absolutely. Was it better than the last time? <laughs> yes, I think rather, I think so. I think the opposition was very different. <laughs> yeah. Big group of New Zealand supporters in the stands, like so many of these countries, supporters from all over the world have made their way to Liverpool. Obviously, they've sailed. Nice hat. And there in the background, actually, Ginny Wiley, Chief Executive of New Zealand Nepal. But let's have a look at the numbers from this game. Yeah, shooting stats high as you would expect from New Zealand. 90%, all four of them really put in that hard graph. But it's the intercepts, 18 um, for New Zealand. And the penalty count, 68 Barbados. That is very high. They really gave New Zealand those opportunities to them capitalize on the three court so let's go down now courtside with gail davis thanks very much well nolene job done today and despite those changes you made you just seem to pick up where you left off yesterday yeah i'm really happy especially defensively i thought we were a tighter as a unit and we created a lot of turnovers so really happy with that aspect and also being able to get all 12 on as a bonus Bailey Mess, you said you were going to give her the full 60. What did you make of her performance today? Yeah, I thought she took a, you know, a couple of shots, obviously, to be able to settle. But once she got in there, she's very strong underneath the post. She offers us a lot of versatility, so definitely she was in goal shoot and then we moved her out to wing attack. And I thought she'd done a good job out there. And for you as a coach as well, having the confidence to know that she's going to come through that sticky patch. I mean, she barely missed it, she after those first three. Yeah, it's understandable that she needed to settle herself, but uh, she brings a lot of value not only to the team, but also the unit as well. Really happy how that whole unit combined, and I thought it was, you know, overall it was a great step up from yesterday. Thanks very much, Nolan. Your captain is alongside Laura. Another win, a few more combinations tried and tested, and most importantly, you look like you're having a ball out there. Uh, oh, we, we want to make sure that we're enjoying the moment because, uh, you know, World Cup moments only come around every four years, but really pleased with the step up and the seamless changes. Pretty easy, isn't it, captaining 
side like that right now? <laughs> oh, we've got lots of leaders in our team, which is great. So I literally just, uh, my biggest job is the coin toss. <laughs> 60 minutes for you yesterday, half a game today. Not bad for somebody who said to me 365 days ago, this wasn't even on the radar or a fossil as you <laughs> refer to yourself. So accurately recalled. Uh, yeah, look, I'm. Um, yeah, I was really happy to run out for yesterday, um, knowing it's good to blow out the cobwebs, um, uh, and really enjoyed today um, testing my processes coming off the bench. So uh, yeah, good learnings all around. You look like you've never been away. <laughs> yeah, right. Well played today, Laura. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Sandra. What? can you take from today's game? It was tricky out there. They kept your scoring very, very low in every quarter, didn't they? Yes. Um, it, we still um, didn't do bad because we had planned to see if we can keep them on the 20 goals a quarter. So except for that second quarter when we really didn't stick to the game plan, we did fairly well. And it's always good, you know, to get an opportunity to play against teams at this level and with that speed. We don't play at that speed in our region. And tell us, how are your, well, how's your goalkeeper first of all? Because we understand she was with the doctor and also your captain who took a tumble. The captain is okay. The goalkeeper right now is still in the medical centre. Just before we went on to the court, she complained of being unwell, but, you know, she wanted to try and we were pleased with her effort. But hopefully she will rebound for tomorrow's game. And Shanika Wharton, we need a word on her because she was stunning in attack wasn't she we uh, we heard the crowd they appreciated all of those long bombs that she now someone's gonna pick her up aren't they someone's gonna get her signed up we will hope we will hope so Shanika is a very good shooter and she has shot range from any angle and we are very pleased that the work we put in in practice she was able to put it out in the game it was the one underneath the post that I think she missed. What did you tell her? Keep moving backwards, keep moving further away. No, I didn't. That was just one of those things. I think she probably was too confident, a bit overconfident with that one under the pole. But she had a very good day today. Well played today. We look forward to seeing you back out tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.